in this video, I'm going to be showing you ways you could be happy, healthy, and fit for the new year. Now, I don't personally believe in New Year's resolutions, so, like, making goals is great, but I believe that you can make them throughout the year and not just on New Year's Day. So, make goals, make a bunch of different goals throughout the year and try your best to achieve them. It doesn't really matter if you do it on New Year's or not. So, um, that's why I'm making this video in February, um, not in January, because I see a lot of these videos in January, but I feel like having goals throughout the year is still good. So, um, yeah, and I also wanted to incorporate ways you could be happy because you want to be happy with yourself working out and stuff. You don't want to work out just to make others happy. So, yeah, and, um, for the healthy portion of this video, I'm going to be showing you one healthy breakfast idea because I personally tend to not eat breakfast. I know that's really, really bad, but um, I, whenever like I get ready in the morning and stuff, I just don't feel like eating. So I'm trying to stop doing that. So I tried to find healthy options for breakfast and I found one and I really like it so far so I'm gonna share that one with you and it's really really easy for anyone who's like really busy in the morning getting ready for school or work so yeah and then for the fitness part of this video I'm gonna be showing you um, ways you can work out even if you have a really busy schedule or other activities that you can join or get involved in if you really want to commit to a certain like sport or activity so yeah so without further ado let's get into the video the first thing we're gonna start off with in this video is the healthy part of it and I'm going to be showing you how to make a healthy breakfast, so it's kind of like a yogurt bowl kind of thing. So the things you'll need will be yogurt of your choice, I'm using strawberry, but you can use whatever you like. And then you'll also need fruit of your choice. As you can tell, this um, breakfast idea is kind of flexible, so you can like stick in whatever type of fruit or yogurt you'd like. Um, but I use blueberries, raspberries. A bunch of berries and occasionally I'll also use bananas. The last ingredient is optional but I'm going to be using chia seeds. Now if you're not too familiar with chia seeds they're super super tiny and they actually have a lot of health benefits. I can go on and on in this video about how healthy chia seeds are but um, you should look them up online and you'll definitely find out more about them but I definitely love them in like salads, yogurts, you could basically put them in anything you want and if you're a picky eater don't worry they taste like nothing trust me um, just take a handful of the seeds and put it in your mouth and you still won't taste anything so if you're looking for something healthy and you're not sure of the taste definitely try these out because they taste like nothing so yeah so I just put all those together, put the yogurt in a bowl, and then put the fruit and chia seeds on top, and there you go. The next thing we're going to talk about is fitness. So, like I said, you should be happy with whatever routine you're going with. If you're not really happy with what fitness routine you're doing right now, you should probably stop because you want to be happy while you're doing it and like what you're doing. So, um, definitely find what you like. So. If you have a busy schedule and you really don't think you can work out, that is not always true. You can always find time for something that you really want to do. So let's say you don't, you're not always that busy in the morning. You can fit in like a 10 to 20 minute little workout with some sit-ups or push-ups and do that in the morning and you have gotten your fitness for the day. Um, it doesn't have to be like an hour long or something because if you do like 10 to 20 minutes every day You're still working out so it really doesn't matter how long you do it But you also want to be consistent if you do smaller amounts of time of working out and Also vice versa if you're busy in the morning, but not so much at night You can do the same thing but at night so you kind of have to find the time 
to do it, but you definitely could find time if you really, really wanted to do it. And then also, if you do want to get involved in an activity, then there's a lot of like classes and stuff you can join. Like for me, I like dance. Dance is like my main workout like thing to do and I love it and it's so much fun. So it's not exactly, it's not a chore for me because I love doing it and I'm working out at the same time. So it's definitely a plus. And, but dancing might not work for you, so you might have to find something else. Like there's also yoga classes and a bunch of different classes that you can join. So you just have to find what you think you'd be interested in and try to stick to it and have fun while you're doing it. So that's basically all you have to do is try to find time and find what you think you'll love doing. You want to be happy with what you're doing. You don't want to be doing workouts or anything just to make other people happy. You want to make sure you're happy doing it. And also, you want to be happy outside of that. So I'm going to give some ideas that um, personally make me happy, but it might not make you happy at all. So you kind of have to find what makes you happy. You can even make a list of things, and it's also a great way to figure out stuff you could do when you're bored and yeah so first to start off music is probably way up on like the top for the things that make me happy I listen to music all the time when I'm cleaning I listen to music when I'm getting ready in the morning I listen to music when I'm taking a shower I listen to music so you kind of get the idea I listen to music all the time and it just gets me in a really good mood. The next thing that makes me happy is dance. So this kind of coincides with the workout area of this video, but dance makes me so happy. Like if I'm having a really bad day or um, I'm just stressed, I go to dance and I totally forget about anything that made me mad or sad. It just really like, it's an awesome way to make my myself feel better and I love dance and I've had it all my life and I'm not planning on stopping because it definitely makes me really really happy. The next thing that makes me happy is reading a book or watching a movie because it kind of serves the same purpose that I'm going to explain right now which is kind of escaping into a different story. So whenever even if I'm having a bad day or something, reading a book or watching a movie definitely gets your mind off of things because you kind of get like really into the story that you're reading or watching. So I definitely recommend that if you're not exactly like, if you don't exactly like reading, you can always watch a movie, but those definitely make me happy. The last thing that I'm going to mention in this video, there's a lot of things that make me happy, but I'm just mentioning some of the big ones that I like to do when I'm bored and stuff, but napping. I know this might sound really, really lazy, but trust me, it's not that lazy if you don't do it all the time. Like, I'll do it occasionally, so if I'm like really worn out or stressed out, I'll take a nap and wake up and feel so much better. Now, I'm not saying take a nap every day after school or just consistently just do it occasionally because I think it really relaxes you and stuff so don't do it all the time because <laughs> that will turn into a lazy thing but doing it every once in a while isn't a bad thing and it actually is a good thing to like kind of relax and whatnot so that definitely makes me happy. <laughs> And that is it for this video. I really hope you all liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below what makes you happy. So realizing what makes you happy really gives you an idea of like what you could do when you're bored or not feeling the best and what could really lift you up and happy. So definitely comment that down below. It could be a bunch of different things or something specific or a simple anything that makes you happy. Comment that down below. And yeah, that's it. Don't forget to check out Amy's video, which I will have linked in the description box below. She did a book tag where she answered a bunch of questions 
um, that had to do with reading and stuff and that was such a good video. I loved it. Me and Amy really love reading. We love talking about like books that we both like and whatnot and yeah, so she also sticks in a DIY in there which is awesome. It's so useful. So I'm not going to tell you what it is because you have to watch the video to find out. So I'll have it linked down there. And yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.